Our special correspondent Alex Crawford is in the Lebanese capital, Beirut. Um, Alex, really good to see you. We've been talking a lot about uh, the attacks by uh, uh, Iran against Israel, but of course uh, we've also seen um, some sk skirmishes and uh, four Israeli uh, soldiers attacked uh, on the Lebanese uh, border. Uh, just give us uh, an update on that. Well, this is interesting, Yalda, because this is the first time it's been publicly acknowledged by both Hezbollah, the Lebanese militant group, and the Israeli Defence Force, the IDF, that Israeli soldiers have made their way inside their neighbouring sovereign country, the country of Lebanon. Uh, the four Israeli soldiers were apparently on some sort of military manoeuvres. They made uh, their way through several hundred metres inside Lebanon. They, according to Hezbollah, were spotted uh, and they waited until these soldiers reached buried explosive devices. And when they reached them, Hezbollah claimed that they then detonated them. Uh, four of them were injured, one of them apparently seriously. What we don't know is why the IDF, why the Israeli soldiers were inside Lebanon. Were they the only four that were inside Lebanon? What was their mission? What were they doing there? And have they been doing this all along, the last six months or so? Certainly the indications are that this is probably not the first time that Israeli soldiers have made their way inside Lebanon. As you know, there have been almost daily exchanges of fire, sometimes more than once a day, between Lebanon and, and Israel across the border. Uh, Israeli drones have, have definitely breached Lebanese airspace on a regular basis, including Israeli jets flying over Lebanon. We understand from uh, Lebanese security forces that only last week uh, a, um, a Lebanese man, uh, a Hezbollah supporter, uh, a man who was under U.S. sanctions list for funneling money to Hamas, was found shot dead with a pile of money on him in the mountains in Lebanon. Uh, it was put down to a, a, a hit job by the Israeli intelligence service Mossad. So certainly the Lebanese authorities believe that there have been previous breaches of their sovereign state inside Lebanon, but this is the first acknowledgement by both sides. Yeah, and as you say, Alex, I mean, frankly, for the last six months, there has been low-level war between uh, Israel and Hezbollah, something that the Israeli authorities have, have continued to e express um, angst about and, and frustration with the United States, saying we need this issue resolved. There have been uh, a lot of, of exchanges of fire between Lebanon and Hezbollah positions on the border and Israeli positions in Israel. There's been a serious displacement on both sides with something like 90,000 uh, Lebanese who've had to move out of their areas, their towns and villages on the border, uh, 60,000 or so on the Israeli side. Obviously, a, a great deal of, of fear and terror amongst the communities on both sides with these almost daily incursions, which appear to be getting deeper inside each other's territory and becoming stronger and more uh, serious. And the, the fear is that this will escalate into a much, much more serious uh, repercussions between both sides. And when uh, the question is being asked is, how is Israel going to retaliate? Are they going to hit Iran or are they going to hit their main their particular proxies. Well, Hezbollah is their strongest and their main proxy in Lebanon, and they would be one of the most serious targets, it would seem, from Israel if they were to take retaliatory action. Alex, uh, thank you, as always, uh, for all of your coverage. Uh, Alex Crawford, our special correspondent, uh, live there from Beirut.